Project Almanac, the Michael Bay produced found footage time travel movie delivers a fairly enjoyable teen adventure story, but doesn't bring much to the table in terms of the genre. In a quest to win a grant that will pay for his MIT tuition, boy genius David Raskin stumbles upon evidence of time travel while searching for inspiration in his long dead scientist father's belongings. He elicits the help of his equally preternaturally intelligent friends, Quinn and Adam, along with his younger sister, Christina. The group eventually discovers what is essentially the recipe for a time machine in David's basement where these things are kept. It's a stretch to imagine that these kids could effectively build this device, but once you give over to the improbable circumstances, the film effectively captures genuine adolescent behavior. Sure, they're at least to some degree stereotypical teens painted in broad strokes, but Project Almanac doesn't travel so far down that two-dimensional rabbit hole that we're unable to connect with the characters. They are erratic, impulsive, emotionally driven creatures that obliviously tread into very dangerous waters. They make dumb mistakes and are more concerned with immediate gratification than the long-term implications of their actions. So, teenagers. The often funny and relatable choices and the interactions between the friends helps to ground the film, initially. Project Almanac actually has a good bit of fun with time travel for the first quarter of the story. It's somewhat refreshing to watch the recklessness of it all as the group tests the waters of their newly discovered ability. Unfortunately, the time travel mechanics and overall logic eventually devolve and everything just becomes overly complex and underthought out. The young actors deliver solid performances with Johnny Weston, who plays David, a standout. As to the found footage portion of the proceedings, Project Almanac breaks its own rules pretty consistently with camera angles that don't make a whole lot of sense upon examination. Ultimately, Project Almanac brings a surprising amount of humanity to what could have been a film entirely devoid of it. There's a relatable quality to the boy at the center that keeps the viewer engaged and entertained, but it ultimately falls victim to its own gimmick. It can't withstand the pitfalls of the paradoxical nature of time travel and stumbles under the weight of an attempt to deliver a big finish. For more movie reviews, keep it locked to IGN. Leave the lights on. Wait, turn the lights back off. Why? Try this. It's connected to the lights.